This is a Tallahassee update from the Florida Healthcare Association, brought to you by Bouchard Insurance. Hi, I'm Emmett Reed, Executive Director of the Florida Healthcare Association. Welcome to another edition of FHCA's Provider Program, brought to you by Bouchard Insurance. Both the House and Senate were in session this week, passing their respective budgets as part of their agendas. Conferencing on the budget should begin next week, at which point both chambers will work to resolve their differences. In the meantime, FHCA continues to urge legislators to take the Senate's position, which provides full funding for nursing facility care as available under current law. The House budget reduces our funding by nearly $46 million, something facilities cannot endure given that Medicaid fails to cover the cost of care by nearly $23 per patient day. We took time to meet with Representative Jimmy Petronas, who shared his thoughts on the importance of supporting our facilities with the funding they need to deliver quality care. And a lot of times what we read on the blogs or what we read in a news clip is fine and well, but having real living, breathing constituents that are in the trenches making those business decisions are, is so much more impactful when we're out making the decisions that affect your livelihood, affect your reimbursement rates, affect how you're regulated. So I can't express enough, you know, following the lead of your advocacy, but more importantly, being a part of the process and being your own advocate. We had another impressive group of members in town for Lobby Wednesday, which is sponsored by FarmScript. Close to 150 owners, executives, administrators, and frontline caregivers from Cypress Healthcare Group and facilities represented by Aramid Health Services could be seen throughout the Capitol, meeting with legislators and advocating for vital Medicaid funding and tort reform. Uh, we had a great meeting with Representative Saunders, uh, and uh, he's excited about his invite to our center. We were able to discuss uh, funding and tort reform and uh, CON, and then uh, now we're on our way to see uh, Senator uh, Soto, and hopefully have a great meeting with him too. We caught up with Representative Betty Reed after one of those meetings, and she shared her perspectives about the importance of hearing from her constituents, particularly those taking care of our state seniors. They are the backbone of our seniors, and so I always enjoy seeing them come in, and I enjoy talking with them, and I enjoy fighting for their, their people. Next week, a number of bills we're working on are on the calendar, including Senate Bill 1384 by Senator Bill Galvano, the Nursing Home Tort Reform Bill. We're asking members to contact your senators and urge them to support this important legislation for our facilities and taxpayers, as it removes the ability for certain trial lawyers to abuse the courts and negatively affect the settlement process. As part of their discussions on this issue, members came to legislators with a message that quality in Florida's nursing homes is good and that thousands of passionate caregivers are committed to keeping it that way. Every day we provide quality of care to our residents and we do that in a variety of ways. You know, first of all, we're the 14th largest employer in the state of Florida offering over 250,000 jobs. This is made up of certified nursing assistants, nurses, therapists, housekeepers, laundry, all dedicated and very proud to offer compassionate services to our seniors. You know, we offer quality care also through the culture change programs. Our culture change programs have increased the residents' level of satisfaction with the services because it's person-centered care, person-directed care, and we're very proud of that. As you can see, member involvement plays a key role in our legislative strategy, and we want to thank everyone for being part of this process. Remember, you can stay up to date on the budget and other bills we're working on with our Capital Connection blog and FHCA's Facebook and Twitter pages. Until next time, I'm Emmett Reed, keeping you informed about the critical issues that impact long-term care and the providers we represent.